After awards and accolades, Bands of Enchantment is back for a third season, and creator Ken Peterson is with us tonight to discuss the success of season two and what we can expect from the upcoming season. Thanks, Ken, for being here tonight. Great to have you on the show again for another season of Bands of Enchantment. So thank you for coming out. Thank you for having me back. It's yep, wonderful yep, yep. to be on the show again. Yes. Yeah, yep. So before we start with season three, let's take a step back to season two and the premiere. How how did everything go with the premiere? What What's it been like? Well, after our red carpet premiere at the Chemo, which was amazing and fantastic and so much fun, uh, the show went on to kick off on New Mexico PBS statewide. And then from there, it went nationwide. So it's still going. And it has aired in New York City, in Los Angeles, uh, Denver, Baltimore, Chicago. It's, it's still going. And then it streams on PBS. And then it also streams on All Arts. And then we just got picked up by Amazon Prime. So yes. it's all available. That is amazing. So, so um, I, this show has been getting noticed. Season one won a Chicago Mid, uh, sorry, was nominated for a Chicago Midwest Emmy and season two won a telly. So, so I mean, what's it, how's it feel to be recognized for your work? Oh, we're so grateful. And we're just, you know, it's, it's really the, the efforts and hard work of everybody involved. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're, we're uh, ramping up to win that Emmy next time for which we submitted for season two. And yeah, we're honored that uh, the telly awards, uh, gifted us, uh, you know, and honored us with an award for season two. Uh, we're just real proud of, of our of our efforts and the work and, and what everybody's doing to make New, Me- New Mexico's international music television show. And I, and I appreciate that. In fact, going through your social media, which everybody is excited for season three, hearing you describe the show, which was the best description, that it was kind of our Austin City limits here in New Mexico. Yeah, it's kind of the quick elevator pitch. Yeah, I mean, because yeah. you get it right away. We shoot it a little differently. It's a little more cinematic. And uh, we kind of, as you know, shoot at our main stage. And then we drone around to other places in Albuquerque because it's really a postcard of Albuquerque and New Mexico to the world. And, you know, championing amazing music from around the world and New Mexican artists because every season we feature five New Mexican bands. And it and is it- a beautiful show. So let's talk season three. Who are we expecting this time around? Well, I'm going to go fast and furious, but you can go to bandsmanchampion.com. Also, Amp Concerts has partnered with us to help us with marketing and, and some of our efforts uh, at the venue. Uh, we're super grateful for that. And then 505 Central Food Hall is actually kicking off a pre-party with some live music before every uh, night from 5 to 7. That and is awesome. 8 o'clock. And we are at the Chemo for Season 3, September 15th through the 25th. And kicking it off on uh, September 15th with Prism Bitch, Albuquerque's own. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Please, please come. Bring everybody. We're just going to kick it off right with, you know, with Prism Bitch rocking it out. Uh, night two, we have Black Joe Lewis from Austin, Texas. Uh, blues, funk, soul, just just crushes it. It's going to be a really great episode. Then we go to Cordova's from Nashville, Tennessee, award-winning uh, rock, country, Americana, uh, amazing band. Super excited to have them. And then we have BJ the Chicago Kid, our yeah, first yeah. R&B hip-hop artist to be on Bands of Enchantment. We're so honored to have him. Uh, he's collaborated with Dre, Kendrick Lamar, uh, Chance the Rapper, the list goes on. We're, we're super excited to have him on. And then from uh, Vancouver, Canada, we have Moon Tricks which we're thrilled to have. It's such a new sound that I've never really heard before. It's bluegrass meets electronica. Uh, so electronic. Uh, so it's going to be, it's going to be a good one. Uh, then uh, night six from Mexico city, we have girl ultra, uh, Latin hip hop, jazz beats. It's, it's going to be a real good one. So please come to that one as well. And then night seven is Paco Versailles, one half of, Capital Cities, and then also uh, Vangani, a flamenco guitar player, and they do, it's called Flamenco Plus Disco, uh, creating a new genre called Dance Menko. Uh, it's 
<laughs> really wow. excited for that one. And uh, yeah, bring your dance and, dance and shoes for that one. Night eight is a New Mexican artist. That's the two, two bands, two band episode. And that is Ailani from uh, Santa Clara Pueblo, an incredible artist, um, young up and comer, super excited to have her on the show. And then we end that evening with the, the Kipsies, Albuquerque, its own Americana kaleidoscope of sounds. They're wonderful. Uh, Night Nine is also New Mexican bands. We have the incredible sounds of Byland coming on, which is Allie Renee and uh, her transcendental sounds. It's going to be beautiful. And then we end the evening with just pure fire and energy uh, with Albuquerque's own slums of Harvard. And then closing night is San Francisco rock legends, the Stone Foxes. They've been featured on Sons of Anarchy. Uh, their music has been in free solo. It's uh, They've played at South by Southwest. They perform with ZZ Top, the Black Keys, Cage the Elephant. They're an incredible rock band. So we're thrilled to have them. And that's our lineup for season three. It's I, I, I say come to all of them. If you've never heard of them, I, I encourage you to come to the ones you've never even heard of because it's like going to your friend's record shop and you're going to be like, oh, I, oh, I've never heard of this this band. I, this is awesome. I, uh, but uh, yeah, it's our way of breaking up the algorithms. Come and, and, uh, and get some new music and have a blast. While you're doing it. That so, is quite the lineup and just the variety that you're providing. And I encourage everyone, red carpet, it, the tickets, affordable. This is something that you do not want to miss out on. So I would guarantee, yeah, definitely take part in it. So I know you're all over um, and it's great to hear that you've been picked up by so many platforms. Where can people see all the episodes that have happened so far? Yeah, so uh, season one and I think season two soon is on Tubi, PBS, Roku, um, and then season two is on Amazon Prime. It's on soon to be Tubi. It's on uh, PBS, um, and it's still broadcasting across PBS too. Uh, we're always adding more platforms when we can, and you can certainly see exclusive content on our YouTube page because uh, we do acoustic sets around Albuquerque as well. And then we also do all sorts of exclusive content on our socials, which is Bands of Enchantment on on all the platforms. And uh, you can also reserve tickets there for season three. Uh, we want to pack the houses and, and show them how we do it in, in Albuquerque. So um, we're super excited to come to the chemo. And we're really excited that our incredible partners, the city of Albuquerque, Mayor Keller, Visit Albuquerque, Albuquerque Arts and Culture, Albuquerque Film Office, every, they support this so much and make this happen. And so we're just so thrilled and honored to be back in Albuquerque. We are thrilled. thrilled and honored as well. We are so excited. Ken, thank you again for coming on the show. And I am looking forward to next month. <laughs> Us too. And I can't wait to see you at, uh, at Prison Bitch. We'll be back. Thank you.